before i bring on vivek one thing which uh, was not said during his intro and which i find very interesting is that he's one of the very few people chartered accountants that i know of who have successfully handled a professional career in three different in countries india middle east and uh, now in canada so uh, his perspective is truly unique uh, vivek uh, let me begin by asking you the first question uh what are the things which our professional colleagues immigrating to canada should keep in mind and what do they should prepare for uh in terms of starting a career in canada well thank you nilesh uh, for that uh, eloquent introduction and uh, as you say hit- history repeats itself so a couple of years ago in 2016 i remember in hyderabad i had the opportunity to address our professional colleagues in the icia international conference Uh, about professional opportunities in bahrain so i owe a lot to my mentors my supporters my colleagues in bahrain so big thank you and shout out to them uh, for uh, they supported me and they gave me the opportunity to head the chapter and i gained a significant amount of experience and leadership experience from that now i'm addressing the members for professional opportunities uh, in canada and feeling blessed to do that So thank you for that interesting question. And um, as you already described, I have spent uh, some time. Uh, this is my third country of my professional and uh, personal experience. So I like to. I'll not touch upon uh, any subjects uh, which are you know in the public domain about the immigration, etc. But your question is very apt and to the point. Uh, immigration to Canada is actually a big mindset game, and it is important for people to understand uh, that you have to prepare your mind before you take the plunge of coming to Canada. Uh, immigration agents across india a lot of advertisements we see uh, everything is hunky dory in canada well it is but you have to make it the best for you uh, believe me when i say that it's easier said than done uh, and i would just like to share out of my personal experience because i immigrated to canada it's exactly now 2 uh, years uh, yesterday so i'll share my tips from my experience so before you embark on the journey to find uh, professional opportunities it is extremely important for uh, people coming to canada to be mentally stable and settled by which i mean that you should have a decent place to stay where you and your family if you have a family they like to live uh, most of the time what people do is uh, they land in canada and they start searching for a uh, job from the next day or or the second day uh, even when their jet lag is not over and what happens is that this builds stress and once the stress mm. start building uh the effectiveness of the process of the job search and uh, uh, is not the maximum it's not well thought out and the process is not scientific and thereby uh, people face unsuccessful attempts of job search which for the builds up stress now a very important point is having an open mind and an attitude to learn uh, is very important because many of our members who are vice presidents or at senior positions in india when they come here they probably in the back of their mind expect to have a similar position and a similar status you can achieve it but not on the day one because this is a highly immigrant uh, inflow market and the canadian government uh, encourages uh, immigration and immigration is not only from india it is from across the globe so we have people coming in from europe from africa from uh, southeast asia etc so the competition is not uh, only with indians but it is global and it is extremely tough believe me now it's like launching yourself uh, your professional career in a new market is like launching a new product you need to position and package the product right and you also need the correct audience uh, to appreciate the qualities of the product so what i what i mean by the product is you the professional himself or herself <clears throat> the packaging is your resume and linkedin profile and the audience is your prospective employers so you can sell anything in the market but you have to need the right right kind of audience the customer base to appreciate the quality of the product and it is also very important to study the job market in detail in canada and identify the companies where your candidate could be a fit and start connecting with the relevant people on linkedin or try to locate who already work there and could be a part of your extended network who could help you get a connection in the companies now this this reinforces the point which wish just mentioned in his presentation about networking and i'll come to that later but it is extremely important uh, to have a proper and decent network to boost your career 
now this brings me uh, 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 to the to discuss more about networking so we a lot of us have experience in india that if a senior person in the industry or in the company refers uh, to uh, a candidate to somebody uh, more likely than not uh, the person will secure a job uh, either sooner uh, at the same instance or maybe a, in a short period of time but in canada it is not the case uh, your chances of landing a job is uh, dependent to a lot extent on who is recommending you and whether the hiring manager what the hiring manager feels about you i have seen well qualified people uh, taking as long as 12 months to land an opportunity to appear for a proper interview in front of the hiring manager uh, while some of the other members are able to crack it within one to two months so it is all dependent on how strong a network you build and what is the reputation your network carries about you so as i said about positioning is very important uh, being at the right so time how did this help you as an as, as a recent immigrant how did this actually help you in your career yeah that's a good question so uh, uh when i try i when i came here i tried to reach out to the right uh, set of people so i i i belong to the banking industry so i targeted people from banks and then i reached out to them and uh, i started to network with them coffee meeting is a is a very important uh, term which is used here and uh, this coffee meetings help me to uh, kind of gather a reputation or build a rapport with the with the professionals and eventually when i landed a job it was only by a reference so you actually didn't know the people before you came to canada so you build that network while you were in canada using these tools like good resumes linkedin coffee meetings and stuff like that yeah my first Is point that... of contact in canada was uh, the former uh, chairperson of uh, toronto chapter mr baljit kaliravna he is quite a popular person and he was kind enough to help me introduce to a lot of people and uh, that's the that's the stepping stone which i took to you know uh, uh, build on that so that's the power of the ca network exactly yeah so as i as reinforcing wish point again this is exactly Correct. a very important tool to build that network yeah absolutely so so i move on to the next question you know there is this whole talk that uh, you need to have canadian work experience if you want to succeed uh, and some of us you know if they are planning to come to canada we may not have canadian work experience now you were lucky because you were in two different continents you had already you know proven yourself but so what can people do to overcome this obstacle uh, what, how does one really prepare and get this work experience part solved yeah so uh, that's a very important uh, point to be considered by people which a lot of people realize when they land here in my first interview i was told uh, that uh, you don't have canadian ex- experience and uh, this interview i landed up uh in a big four accounting firm because i had a previous experience in big four and it, i i was referred or recommended by a senior partner over there and i responded to the interview that uh, since i'm a new immigrant uh, it is quite clear that i do not have the relevant canadian work experience and that's why i am sitting in front of you but whether we like it or not it's a fact that employers demand this because the pool of talent is quite huge especially in the greater toronto area where finance industry is the main industry so you have to be mindful of that now you have to address your question uh, how to overcome that uh, when people land here uh, i would encourage the, them to take up some volunteer role for two months in a firm accounting firm or whatever comes first on the plate because it's not about the money it's not about the position it's the appreciation of employers for the experience in the local market and understanding the canadian work style which carries value i was i would also encourage uh, people to take some certification courses uh, you know the local certification courses which will increase their prospects obviously cpa is a big thing which i think vijay ji would address in his uh, responses but apart from that some certification courses related to a specific industry like mutual fund industry investment industry uh, banking industry will really boost your chances to you know to land up a job yeah great vivek uh, i think you've given us great insights uh, before i move on to the next panelist i must reemphasize two points that vivek mentioned which i think are the most important points on this whole panel first is what he said about uh, stress 
uh, I think uh, uh, it cannot be understated. Uh, people, when they immigrate to different countries,